know there are heavy metals in chocolate, dark chocolate particularly. So heavy metals are things like mercury, lead, cadmium, and arsenic. So particularly cadmium and lead seem to be in dark chocolate. Thankfully, Brian Johnson, if you follow him, has a protocol that he's been working on, uh, and I'll link him below. And he did what are the best chocolates, what are chocolate bars and cocoa his being top, and what are the worst based on high flavonoids or flavonoids and low heavy metals. So he tested 10 of them, and I'm going to link the list here, but I just want to go over the top three with you, get right to the point, and the bottom three. You might be surprised. Pam back, interruption. Anyway, what I wanted to say again about Brian Johnson is he's an um, entrepreneur. He is a wonderful human being. If you listen to his interviews and you watch him, um, you really get to know him and what kind of person he is. Um, he, so when I mentioned earlier about he has his own uh, cocoa, you know, that's high in those flavonoids and really low in the heavy metals, he's not trying to just promote what he has or olive oil. He just explains the best kind. It's available for you if you want it. And um, otherwise, he tells you what, what's best, what's worse for eating, for staying healthy, for your lifestyle, for vitamins, for everything. He has his own medical clinic. He has his own team of physicians and researchers. Everything is research-based, backed by science. He's really amazing. But the cool thing is he's sharing all of this knowledge with us. So we can do with it what we want. And I'm taking advantage of it. I didn't just go with what he said about the chocolate. I also listened to Dr. Vivian Lowe. I really like what she had to say. Um, she goes into the minuscule details of what each heavy metal is, how much, uh, you know, what's happening to our chocolate. I'm not going to go into any of that. I will list her information below. I love what she has to say. Um, I'm just going to go straight to the list of the 10 that he did, uh, that he had studied, that Brian Johnson had studied, and what came out to be the best and what came out to be the worst. And I'm going to tell you what I used to eat. So this is what I ate all the time. Um, Trader Joe's, of course I always had dark chocolate because, you know, that's supposed to be the best, but this is not the best. Oh, the other junky chocolate that I love so much is this. You see, this is still from Christmas. Smell this. This is, this is like memories right here, right? I still have this in my candy cupboard. I love it. It's okay to have it sometimes. But, you know, the whole goal here is just that we go into things fully educated and well aware. Um, it's not trying to say nobody should have this or that anymore. It's just to let you know what's going on with our chocolate. I personally had no idea how much of the metals were in there uh, in the chocolate. So it's highest in dark chocolate. It's lower in milk chocolate, but it's still there in milk chocolate. All right, let's get to the point here. Let's start with the worst. The worst chocolate bars out there are Alter Eco, and it's ECO not ego. Alter, uh, Brian Johnson had two of the Alter Eco bars dark chocolate tested and both were the highest of all of them. Alter Eco, the next worst is Theo, that brand. And then uh, the third worst is Beyond Good. So I will list his, his information as well on how everything gets ranked. And then let's talk about the best. I'm going to try them. It is now 4.44 did you hear that, Carrie? It's 4.44 p.m. It's a little inside thing with my sister. But anyway, I haven't had dinner. I'm going to eat this chocolate before dinner. So the first, uh, there's three of them of the top three. The first one is going to be in third place, and that is this one, Hugh. I've never tried this before. So let's give this a try. It's bitter. That's the first thing, but not overly. It tastes good. It's bitter. It's smooth. I like it. But if you don't like that kind of aftertaste of bitterness, you might not like you. What's the next second best? Ritter Sport. Now, what was tested was Ritter Sport 
um, but dark, but I could not find that anywhere. Why is it when you're looking for something, you can't find it when you're not looking for it, it's everywhere. I grabbed the milk chocolate, that is all I could find. So I'm gonna try this just for the sake of trying Ritter. I've never had a Ritter bar, good for them. They're in second place. There we go. My husband's calling. I'm going to ignore him. There. I'll call him back. Here's the Ritter. Let's try this. Oh, um, that's really good. I think Brian Johnson uh, tested it with hazelnuts. This is almonds. Very smooth and creamy. Mmm. Mm hmm. Lots of flavor. Tastes great. This, to me, tastes better than this. I'm sorry I don't have the dark chocolate, but that's a good one. Hey, you guys, I went to the store. It's the next day. I went to the store this morning, and look what I found. The dark chocolate. You know how I have tried the milk chocolate. Okay, so here we go with dark chocolate. Ritter Sport 50% cacao dark chocolate. Let's give it a try. Remember, the top uh, bars were uh, Bosch. Ritter and and two. Took me a second. Okay, here we go. Just opened it. Let me try it. I can already tell it is not hard as a rock like the other dark chocolates were. Really nice. Okay. There we go. Very smooth. Not bitter at all. Mm. Of course, part of that, it's 50% cacao, not 80 or 100. This is really good. These are great. I love the Ritter. Yesterday was the first time I ever tried one. Really like them. Number one. What is the number one high flavonoids, low and heavy metals, processed beautifully well? It's this one, Bosch. Do you guys ever eat this? I've never even seen this before. Or maybe I've walked on by because it's really a gourmet specialty. A chocolate bar, there's lots of different flavors. They even have a dark chocolate bacon. This one is the raw honey cacao and this is the banana coconut. It says it's vegan. Vosges is uh, somewhere in France. It's beautiful. The packaging is really beautiful. So here it is. Which one should I try, you guys? Should I try them both? Okay, I love bananas. So let's go with this banana one first. This one is 72% cacao. This one is 100%. Hmm. Okay, this is probably really healthy. It doesn't really taste like dark chocolate or like bananas to me. It doesn't taste like either one. But if you're really craving chocolate, you love chocolate, you love dark chocolate, give it a try. We know it's healthy at least. Let's try this one, the raw honey cacao. 100%. There we go. I'm trying to keep it up here. Better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Better. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I was going to choose, I would be choosing um, this one here. The raw honey. Whoops. It's very good. Again, you're going to have that dark, deep dark chocolate kind of bitter taste. To me... It's not as bitter as you, but um, this is exceptional. But it being milk chocolate, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just don't know. But we know that Ritter's good. Because, again, the absolute best is going to be... The best is going to be Vosges. The next is going to be Ritter. And then number three down the line is going to be Hugh. 
So there we go. And they all taste very good, but to me, this tastes great. I hope this was helpful. Don't feel guilty eating chocolate. Just be aware of the healthier chocolates versus the not healthier chocolates, the ones that have a bit too much of the ingredients that we don't want in our bodies or our kids. Thank you for watching.